Okay, good evening, everybody. I am coming into you tonight, this evening, with a look inspired by me. <laughs> because I didn't know what else to say. So, I'm going to use... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do try to do it as quickly as I can. Um, I kind of messed that drawer. I, this time I went in with the drawer. Clean dry cosmetics, clean canvas. Let me try to just bring that out here. Um, the clean canvas in the shade medium. And I'm going to use two palettes again. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey and the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the shade is. What is it? Uh, either Heavenly Body or Galactic Glow. Nope. Either something amber or electric. I don't know, but it's this shade right here. This kind of dusty pink. And I put a lot of that on my reference 01 brush. But I think I'm going to bring that. all through the crease to the inner part of my right lid this is not my right lid this is my left lid see how backwards i get when the camera turns on i just lose it okay so let's Put it on our right eye and pray that we can get it to match the left eye. Okay. Um, I didn't set that, that base. Um, but we're going to see how it works. And then I'm just going to use that same brush and try to buff it out. They have been popping fireworks. It's not New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve Eve. Today is my niece's 14th birthday. My great niece. My oldest great niece. is 14 today. Her grandma will be 60 tomorrow. We got a lot of birthdays in December in January in my family a lot of birthdays so including my son y'all yeah, just picked the wrong time of the year to be born the wrong time it's too many birthdays and then we have more coming up next month so I guess that was a little spring fever when all of them were conceived. And of course, I was conceived during the cuddle weather. All right. So I'm liking the way that's looking on both eyelids. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the dusty, dusty rose. I'm going to go into the retro palette and I'm going to go in with Rebellion I'm going to go in with Rebellion this deepest shade in the palette and just try to deepen the outer V
going to take a e.l.f. cosmetics brush Yeah, I didn't think I was going to do a video today because I went to get my car fixed and the catalytic converter actually was the wrong size. So I had to ship that back, order a new one. The new one actually was under $100. The other one was 500 and something. So I shipped that back, ordered the new one, and uh, it should be here by January 7th, and hopefully it fits. So my check engine light can go back off. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Psychedelic, this middle shade, this middle shade, let's see, let me turn this light off, it's not any better, but this middle shade here, we're going to go in and I'm actually going to combine. Nope, I'm going back to the other palette. I'm going to go into this shade right here. And again, I can't really see those shade names, so bear with me. I really can't see them. So. from the Celestial Odyssey palette. And I will spray the brush. I just wanted to see how it would go down before. If we find the Fix Plus, which I have no idea where it's at. Because I moved everything. Oh, there it is.
Okay, we have that down. And now I combine the two shades, Glitz and Psychedelic, the two pink shimmer shades in this palette, this one and the middle shade. And I'm still going to spray the brush. They seem like topper shades for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna try the Mayron. Let's try that and see what it does. We have, I think, two more days of 80 degree weather. And then we have a shock cold front that will come through on Saturday night. I know in Dallas, it's supposed to get down to the 20s. Here, I think the 30s. Because y'all just know Dallas and Houston are about three, three to three and a half hours apart. We're not close at all it used to be four hours but with the freeway system and speed limits changed it's just about three and a half hours three to three and a half hours and um it's supposed to be cold sunday and monday and then it'll warm up again but not to the 80s next week it'll be in the 60s and that's that's fine as long as we don't stay in the 50s because i don't like the cold i don't know if i could have gone up north <laughs> doing slavery yes i could have i'll deal with the cold i'll deal with the cold all right did i put i didn't put may run on that did i put some on that one yeah, these shadows are going to get some use because I'm digging in them. The way I'm digging, we're going to hit pan. We will hit pan. All right. So, oh, Patience from Hope Bella Beauty. Or Hope Bella, she kind of inspired me with her last video using the retro palette she did a beautiful look but you know me i can't just use it's very difficult for me to use just one palette very difficult i like to use multiple palettes so then i think what i'll do is take hmm I'm just gonna take this blushing in Bali highlighter palette I'm just gonna take that highlighter and sit it up here under my eyebrows I'm taking the middle shade called Sun Kiss
I don't know if you can tell, but I did go and get my eyebrows threaded today. And now I'm going to take um, like I said, I put everything oh, here it is. I, don't, the, I know the other one is in front of me, but I'm not seeing it in my face right now, so I'm just going to take the touch and sew no pore glue primer and get that on and of course we're going in with our Maybelline Matten poreless and dewy smooth and we need another brush because I took my brushes out I took my brushes to be washed yesterday and didn't wash them so I'm using What color is this? Coconut 355 and Spicy Brown 338. And I'm just putting them both All right, let's close those up and pull out our Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind. I never saw it. It says multi-use concealer. That's a good uh, foundation. I know a lot of y'all well, it's a good foundation for me for less than six dollar foundation for it to cover up that skin tag. It's a good foundation. All right, I'm going to use the same brush. Same brush. Let me see if I can make that a different. I know that light makes me look orange, but trust me, I'm not orange. Okay, I'll keep those lights amber and keep the one in the center daylight.
I think I need to probably add some more to this side. Now we're going to go in with our under eye powder. I'm using the Black Radiance. Black Radiance Banana Powder. It's so finely milled. thought I took out the ABH translucent because I like that as well. Let me just go over that with the Believe translucent. The Dollar General. Because somehow I, I just want the under eye really bright. And then I'll go in with my Black Radiance. It's hot. Black Radiance. Sculpting, contouring powder. Now I'm going to go in with the sculpting powder. Down the middle. Use that on the top to soften. Go back to that belief because I think that's just a little too dark. Right, and then we're going to take the blush. Before we take the blush, we're just going to go back. We've got to finish the eyes. Let's, excuse me, let's finish the eyes. And we're going to take I'm going to 
take a Coastal Scents brush and we're going to use our old tried and true favorite that we let go by the wayside my Ruby Kisses gel eyeliner that never failed me I've had this for a couple of years All right. Okay, so we took a pause to apply eyelashes, and now we're going to apply our uh, shadow to our bottom lash. And I'm going back in Rebellion and I'm gonna replace I'm gonna place that on my bottom lash. Even though that's not the brush that I normally use for my bottom lash. I got a little something in my eye. Okay, a little piece of shadow in my bottom eye. And now let's see. I'm going to take this brush that I applied that other shadow something is going on out there because the helicopters are circling and they've been circling for quite some time and I'm going to try to lighten that up if y'all notice i've really gotten away with gotten away from putting liner on my bottom lash um i still can but All that eyeshadow is in my eye. I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild highlighter. Try to keep it as light as possible. Then I'm going in with a 
coming back in with glitz. Yeah, so something has happened, and now I'm gonna go back into I'm gonna go into the blushing in Bali. I'm gonna go in with peach, please, and life's a peach for my blushes. These two shades right here. And I'm going to stay with the same peach blushing in Bali. I'm going to take keep the same brush and I'm going to take coral and sun kiss together. The blush and the highlighter together. And just go over that. So it's not to really add too much highlight. I'll just do the blush as a highlight. And then we're going to finish it with our Sephora. Micro smoothing powder. And mahogany so we'll see on the news later on if something really happened And I'm just going to take my finger with the highlighter and I'm going to go and glisten the lightest shade. And just put that right there. And this is my look. With the Fix Plus, and I did pull out a lipstick. Ask me what I did with it. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna go in again with this Black Radiance Queen Bay. and use that for my lip. That wasn't the lip I was going to choose, but it's what's available. And that's my look. Thumbs up this video if you like it. If you don't, then thumbs it up anyway. Just do me an extra Christmas present. Like, share, subscribe, join the family, 
I appreciate you watching. Uh, again, this look was brought to you by Natasha Denona, the Retro Palette, and Pat McGrath, Celestial Odyssey. Again, I like to mix palettes. So we will continue to use these palettes, but it'll be a while because we got lots of palettes to get through. I'm using everything I have. I'm going to start using what I have because I am officially on a no buy and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying proving you guys wrong. I'm really doing it. And to keep doing it, just using what I have because I have a lot of stuff I can buy in my own house. I can go back there and buy a lot of stuff because I haven't used it yet. But anyway, have a good day. Happy New Year. But y'all probably see me in another video before then. Until, have a good night.